out here with my brother. My brother. You Fuck see game. it. You see it. You see Fuck it. Game. Super fly, super fly. Hey man, your boy went and did it Y'all sing, y'all can have something too. Yeah, y'all sing, right? Y'all sing? Y'all sing? Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well and sound doctrine. Peace, blessings, and safety to the elect of the nation of Israel scattered out the four corners of the planet Earth, pushing this word in humility and sincerity, as commanded by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Bashim Rakakodash. Lord, when this lesson is edifying, and I'm not sure the title of this lesson, um, but I just want to say a few words. Uh, Lord willing, I'm gonna do a live stream tonight dealing with this uh, situation with Sakari and um, the justification that they made for themselves, which was uh, inadequate according to the scriptures. And um, Lord willing, tonight I want to prove that. But in this lesson, I just want to talk about the the type of spirit that we're supposed to have. Okay, knowing that this place. Is about to be destroyed okay and knowing that we are not saved okay we are not saved let's get that let's start with that and jeremiah 8 and 20 the harvest is past the summer is ended and we are not saved so we're still here you know we're still here so there's no reason for us to celebrate as if we're already in the kingdom we're still here um, all the plagues of ancient egypt are about to come upon this place we keep the passover as a remembrance of us getting out of egypt through those plagues all right and that was a scary time as the elder said and the times that we're living in now are scary times Let's get Philippians chapter 3. Because these guys, they act as though they're already in the kingdom. They act as though they have already attained. And this is not the right spirit to be in. We're supposed to be in a spirit of, of meekness, a spirit of contrition, a spirit of sorrow, a spirit of solemn. Okay, a spirit of uh, supplication. You know, a spirit of lowliness, a spirit of being uh, abasing ourselves. 
because we don't know if the Lord is going to choose us to get us up out of here, man. And that's a scary thing. So we cannot act as though we've already made it. We cannot act as though. And mainly because that's not the type of holy day that the Passover is. It's as simple as that. Now, Jake will pull scriptures from the history about how kings in the past have kept the Passover. But those kings are not our Lord. And the scriptures say in Romans, which that's what I'm going to go into tonight. The scripture says in Romans that we are to be conformed to the image of Yahweh Shai. Not to the image of King Hezekiah. Not to the image of King Josiah. But to the image of Yahweh Shai. But anyway, before I get into that other lesson that I want to do, let's read this Philippians 3. Verse 11. Uh, damn, let's start at 8. Philippians 3 and 8. Yeah, doubtless I count all things but loss. For the excellency of the knowledge of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, my Lord, whom I have suffered, the loss of all things, and do count them but dung. You see, and that's part of the, that's part of the issue. Those individuals have not put off the old man. I mean, look at this. I'm pretty sure they threw up them them signs in the world. I'm pretty sure. I'm a hundred percent sure that they used to throw up them, whatever that means. They used to throw that up in the world. So they're supposed to suffer the loss of those things. And they're supposed to count those things as, as shit, man. You know? You made music in the world. You shouldn't come into the truth still making music, man. Because that's a, that's a big part of you that, that was a part of you in the world, man. You're supposed to put that off. You're supposed to count it down. But anyway, let's, let's let me not get off topic. He says, yeah, doubtless I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. My Lord, and the Lord would never have no harlot at his Passover, man. Period, man. You could try to make any type of fucking excuse you want. The Lord will never have no harlot at his Passover, man. Like I said, you could try to go to the history. You could try to pull up what these kings did, what the kings of Israel did, but the kings are not our Lord, man. The kings are not the example. Yahweh Shai is the example. We ought to keep the, the Passover as Yahweh Shai kept the Passover. Period, man. It says, For I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung that I may win Hamashiach. See, we haven't won the Lord yet because we yeah, he's opened us my, his uh his uh understanding to us. He's given us this knowledge, this, this sound doctrine. But when do we win the Lord when he puts that crown on our head, man? That's the victory. When you get those new bodies, that's the victory. You look at any great basketball player, you know, and, and during the playoffs, the reporter always asks him, how do you feel after this win? And all the greats, they said, well, I don't, I don't feel nothing. Kobe said, I don't feel nothing. We, we, we ain't won. The championship is still there. We, we haven't gotten a ring yet. Verse 10, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. We have not been resurrected, man. We haven't got those new bodies. And the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death. We are to be made conformable unto his death. If you think about the Lord's death and it causes you to celebrate and turn up, you're not in the right spirit, man. You don't even know what the fuck is going on. If you think about the Lord's Passover, okay, not the, not the Passover... Uh, 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 you know um, That King Josiah and King Hezekiah kept But if you think about the, the Passover of Egypt And the Passover of Yahweh Shai And you And you think to turn up There's something spiritually wrong with you Philippians 3 and 10 That I may know him And the power of his resurrection And the fellowship of his sufferings Being made conformable Unto his death if by any means I may might attain unto the resurrection of the dead, not as though I already attained. Either we're already perfect. We're not act, acting like we've already attained and we're already perfect. But I follow after if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended. But this one thing I do, 
forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press toward the mark for the price of the high calling of Yahweh in Yahweh Shah Mashiach. So we are pressing toward the mark. We're forgetting the old man, our old ways, okay, our old tendencies, the things that we like to do in the world. Rioting, you know, and because oh, we have a born Passover, according to them. Our Passover is born. So I guess the Lord's Passover was born because it wasn't no music, it wasn't no singing, and it wasn't no turning up. It wasn't no music, it wasn't no singing, it wasn't no throwing up gang signs. I mean, at least I don't know. Maybe it maybe was. I didn't see that in the scripture, though. It wasn't at a club. You know? None of that was going on, man. Psalms 34, verse 18. Yahweh is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart. We're supposed to have a broken heart, man. That's how we're supposed to come to the Lord, man. Especially on the Passover, man. If it's any day, why can't Jake just, just, just do what the scriptures say, man? Why is it always an excuse? Why is it always an excuse, man? Let's get that, man. I don't understand why it always has to be an excuse, man. Sirach 32, verse 17. A sinful man will not be reproved for nothing, man. He will not be reproved for nothing, man. But findeth an excuse according to his will. This is the will of man, man. That's what the Lord said to put not confidence in princes, but to trust in the Lord. You notice all the things that they used to justify themselves was the kings and the princes of Israel, man. They're not the Lord, man. They're not the Lord, man. They was going off. You know how we know they was going off? Because it's, it's, when you read those accounts, it says that there was not a Passover kept like, like those Passovers. Showing you that it wasn't, that wasn't the way it was supposed to be kept. get this bear with me damn it uh let's see this is luke chapter 16 verse 15 luke 16 and 15 and he said unto them ye are they which justify yourselves before men but the most high know of your hearts for that which is highly esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight of your heart. So, you know, all that was all worldly, man. You know, none of that was solemn, man. The Passover is said to be a solemn assembly. Let's look up that word solemn. Solemn. It says marked by invo invocation of a religious sa sanction uh, marked by the observance of established form or ceremony. It says a uh, sublime, awe-inspiring, uh, marked by grave sedateness and earnest sobriety, gloomy, somber. Let's go to somber. Somber. So shaded as to be dark and gloomy of a serious Mien grave of dismal and depressing character. Oh my lord! Dismal and and that's what you. That's how you should feel when you think about the Lord's Passover. When you think about Yahushua's Passover. When you think about the night of the Passover, you should feel depressed. You should feel gloomy. It says of dull and heavy cast or shade, dark color. Let's go to grave. Grave. It says um, the adjective. Meriting serious consideration. Likely to produce great harm or danger. Significantly serious. Significantly serious, man. 
Psalms 34 verse 18. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and save of such as be of a contrite spirit. See, because that what that that, that 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 didn't display a contrite spirit. You know, and that was not a that was not an acceptable sacrifice before Yahweh was shot. Psalms 34 verse 18. Was not an acceptable sacrifice before Yahweh was shot. Let me see if I can find this real quick. Oh, so like, I don't know where the scripture is at. Um, let me try to search on this other Bible. Ridiculous R I D. Okay, count the water. Y'all about Shemel Shai. It's his uh, it's a rock 34, verse 18. He that sacrificeth of a thing wrongfully gotten, his offering is ridiculous, and the gifts of unjust men are not accepted. The Most High is not pleased with the offering of the wicked, neither is he pacified for sin by the multitude of sacrifices. Whoso bringeth an offering. Of the goods of the poor doth as one that killeth the son before his father's eyes. Um, uh, damn, I don't think this is the one I wanted. So like it. That's not the scripture I wanted. But let's go back. Let's go back to uh, contrite. Psalms 34 and 18. Yahweh is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart. And he save and save of such as be of a contrite spirit. Let's look up that word contrite. It's the etymology of contrite. It says broken in spirit by a sense of guilt, conscience stricken, and resolved to not sin again. From the 13th century, from the old French contrite. It says uh, from the 12th century and directly from Latin contrit, contrit, contritus, literally worn out, ground to pieces, penitent, to grind, uh, with or together. So con means with. And um, let's see, kind means kind means with, and uh, trite means to rub. So basically, being pressed down in the spirit, man. You know, being oppressed and depressed and suppressed. That's the type of spirit that you're supposed to have. It says feeling or expressing pain or sorrow for sins or offenses. Psalms 51 17 the sacrifices of Yahweh are a broken heart this is the this is the sacrifice that we're supposed to give to Yahweh Shai, a broken heart man especially on the Passover man any if this was Purim, nobody would be doing this video but this is the Passover man it's a different type of uh, 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 it's a different type of standard Okay, when you're dealing with Yahweh Shai in the night that he died and the night that he kept the Passover, man. He's our example. Romans 12 and 1, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. So what is the sacrifice? Psalms 51, 17, the sacrifices of Yahweh are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart of Yahweh. It's like it, oh yeah, how about Shemia Washai, thou will not despise. You see, but the Lord said, I hate, I despise your feast days, man. Though you offer me burnt offerings and sin offerings, I will not smell in your solemn assemblies, man. Because your solemn assemblies are not solemn. Take, he said, take thou away from me the noise of thy vows. Because you mixing the, let's get that, man. Because it's supposed to be a solemn assembly, but you you got, you got noise, the noise of vows. That's why when you read the accounts of them kings, they said that there was no Passover kept like that. Amos 5, 21, I hate and despise your feast days. I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. Though ye offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings, I will not accept them. Neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat beasts. Take thou away from me 
the noise of thy songs. Why? Because it's a solemn assembly. Ain't supposed to be no noise in songs. All you're supposed to hear is 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 is, is a thoughts, man, and meditation, man. You know, you're thinking about your howasha, man. Moments of silence for your howasha and his death. Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs, for I will not hear the melody of thy vows. So the sacrifices of Yahweh are a broken heart. Psalm 51, 17. The sacrifices of Yahweh are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. O Yahweh, thou will not despise. For thus saith Isaiah 57 and 15. For thus saith the high and lofty one that inhabits of eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place with him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones that's what the lord is coming back for man okay prayer of azarias 1 verse 16 nevertheless in a contrite heart and an humble spirit let us be accepted okay we're going to be accepted by keeping that boring passover as he said you know, keeping that boring Passover, that's more acceptable to Yahweh Bashim Shai. That's more acceptable to Yahweh Bashim Shai. That boring Passover, contrite feeling of showing sorrow and remorse for sins and sh or shortcoming. You know, do, are they even sorry that Yahweh Shai had to die for our sins, man? That Yahweh Shai even had to go through that because of our, our disobedience, because of our, our ignorance and negligence? You know, are they, are they, even, are they even sorrowful for that? Ecclesiastes 7 verse 2 It is better to go to the house of mourning Than to go to the house of feasting Because when, when Yahweh Shah took the disciples into that upper room That was a house of mourning That was a house of mourning man The, the last supper was not a, 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 a festive feast It was a mournful feast man It was a bitter feast They ate bitter herbs they ate unleavened bread. Ecclesiastes 7 and 2. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting, for that is the end of all men. And the living will lay it to his heart. That was the living of that was the end of Yahweh Shah, man. That last supper, that was the end of Yahweh Shah, man. And you're supposed to lay it to your heart, which is your mind, man. Contrite, humble, broken spirit, man. Verse 3, sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. So, yeah, they laughing, and we sad. So who, who's better? Who, who's going to be better in the end? Hmm? Who's going to be better in the end, man? That's a cut, man. Sorrow is better than laughter. And we had a solemn assembly, and then we had fun. Where is that in the scriptures? Where is that in the scriptures to have a solemn assembly and then have fun? Where is that? I don't. I didn't read that concern. I never read that concern in the Passover, man. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. Our mind is being made better. Our mind is being strengthened, man. Their mind is being weakened. They think that their mind is being strengthened, but they're being weakened, man. Verse four: The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. Lord, with this edifying, my name is Brother Yaquam Amana. I want to say the water Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rechak with Hashem for the Holy Spirit to bring out this lesson. Lord, when it was edifying to the elect, call me Asherah Shalom.